It's now time to play everybody's favorite game show, Are You Smarter Than a Realtor? And here's your host, Jesse Ivey! Thanks, Johnny. Hi, folks, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Realtor? This is the game show in which we find out if you are actually smarter than a realtor and we test your real estate knowledge. So, how do we start this game? Basically, first of all, let's talk about the categories where questions will be coming from today. Today's categories are gonna be real estate finance, real estate law, famous landowners, and utilities. Those are the four categories, the six questions will come from on our game show today. So scoring on our show is done like this. Each correct question that you answer is worth a thousand points. If you answer all five questions, then you will have 5,000 points. To get it to go to the sixth question, which is actually the bonus round, and is worth 5,000 points, you have to answer four of the five questions correctly. So if you're playing with other people or other people are watching the show too and you're in a room together, just write your answers down. Anyway, we are ready now. Let's go to our first question. Okay, question number one. A blank is a test given before you install a septic system. Is it A, soil test, B, perk test, C, dirt test, or D, water test. You have 20 seconds. Once again, a blank is a test given before you install a septic system. Is it A, soil test, B, perk test, C, dirt test, or D, water test? Number one's answer is B, for dirt test. Okay, let's go on to number two with question number two right now. Okay, question number two. Purchasing property where the seller carries back a mortgage for the buyer is called a blank deal. Is it A, owner carry, B, owner finance, C, seller finance, or D, all of the above? You have 20 seconds. Once again, Purchasing property where the seller carries back a mortgage for the buyer is called a blank deal. Is it A, owner carry, B, owner finance, C, seller finance, or D, all of the above? Okay, for question number two, if you answered number D, all of the above, you answered correctly. So, now let's move on to question Number three. Okay, question number three. Money given by a buyer to a realtor after writing up a real estate contract is called A, earnest money, B, installment payment, C, option money, or D, down payment. Once again, money given by a buyer to a realtor after writing up a real estate contract is called a earnest money b installment payment c option money or d down payment okay if you answered number three a earnest money you are correct so give yourself a thousand points if you've added that to your score so if you've answered one two and three real estate questions correctly, you now have 3,000 points. Let's go on to question four and see how you do. Question number four. Selling property is illegal without a realtor if you don't own or have an interest in the property. A, true, B, false, C, sometimes, D, it depends. Once again, Selling property is illegal without a realtor if you don't own or have an interest in the property. A. True. B. False. C. Sometimes. D. It depends. Okay, if you answered on question four, if you answered 
Number A, true, you are correct. It is A, true on that question. So if you've answered all four questions correctly, you now have 4,000 points. And now we're ready to go on to question number five. Let's go. Number five. When a buyer pays off their property that they have been making payments on, they usually receive a blank. Is it A, deed, B, 1031 exchange, C, note, or D, mortgage? Once again, when a buyer pays off their property they have been making payments on, they usually receive a A, deed, B, 1031 exchange, C, note, or D, mortgage. Okay, so now you just finished question number five and what the answer is, it's A, it's a D. Now remember, you can have different, different types of Ds. You can have a special warranty deed, a, you know, a grant deed, uh, you know, a bargain and sales deed, different types, but that's what the answer is, it's the letter A. So if you've answered all five questions, you now have 5,000 points. And if you answered four of the five questions, you also have 4,000 points, but you also get to go to the next level, which is to go to the bonus round. And that's where we're going right now, is to the bonus round. Let's see how you do. This is a picture of a man. This man is the second largest land owner in the United States. What is his name? You have 30 seconds. Once again, pictured above is the second largest landowner in the United States. What is his name? Okay, so if you answered the sixth question here in our bonus round, Ted Turner, then you just won 5,000 points because that's exactly what it is. That's the answer, Ted Turner. Ted Turner is the second largest landowner in the United States. He used to be in the number one position, but currently he's in the number two position. Now here is the scoring table and levels after you add up your score. As you can see, the top score is 10,000 points. That means you answered all six questions correctly. This is the president's circle, superior investor. That's what you are if you answered all six questions correctly. If you answered five questions correctly, you were an excellent investor. If you answered four questions correctly, you had 4,000 points and you're a good investor. If you answered three questions correctly, you would have 3,000 points and you're an average investor. If you answered two questions, uh, you're a fair investor. And if you answered only one question, you are a poor investor. Anyway, that is the scoring table for are you smarter than a realtor? you answered only four or five questions correctly, that's still really good for this show. If you answered all six, well, you're in the president's circle and have 10,000 points. If you answered three or less, well, you probably need to watch the show again and get real estate educated. So we hope you've enjoyed our show and we will be back again very soon with another episode of Are You Smarter Than a Realtor? Take care, folks.